I'm trying to find that Hulk Hogan clip of him uh, of doing an impression of a dog. Oh, yeah. Hulk Hogan's a regular um, contributor to this show, not yeah. literally, um, as in we, we talk about him a lot. And yeah. there was an amazing clip that Pete showed me earlier of him trying to do an impression of a dog. Yeah, and, and, and being unable to do so, one yeah. would say. And you'd think that, would, that kind of thought process mm. would be automatic for most people. Yes. It's one of the first things you teach a, a baby. <laughs> what noise does a dog, dog make? make yeah. Woof, woof. What noise does Hulk Hogan think a dog makes? If he wants to be the big dog, bar- <laughs> <laughs> Play it again. Bar- he thinks a dog. <laughs> Sorry, is that Sammy? <laughs> yeah, Baru. God. Baru. 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 <laughs> and it's, it reminds me of uh, when Donald Trump, I think it was when he was running to be president <laughs> or when he was president, I can't remember. Right. He went off on about, he, he was talking about how a particular type of people were treated, probably his family or whatever, because yeah. uh, he's obviously grievance motivated, isn't he? And he started saying, and they were treated worse than a dog. And, um, <laughs> talked about all these different things that had happened to which point everyone just went these days like most people treat their dogs pretty well yeah like, no one does no that no, no no what, are, what, what are, you are you what are you doing to dogs yeah what are you Be- doing to dogs because most dogs get looked after not all of them and that's a tragedy no. but most of them most people love their dogs probably more than um more than their uh, own family i remember i was up at a um a former premier league footballer's house interviewing him once and um uh when i got there mm. he was like oh, look, i'm really sorry but i um, just want to let you know uh, earlier this week, our beloved dog passed away. Uh, we had him for like 14 years, really sad. So if you think every, if everyone's been a bit kind of morose around here, he, he probably wouldn't have said the word morose, but you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, he said, that's why I just want you to know. Mm. And I said, oh, you know, it's terrible when a pet dies, isn't it? You know, it's almost like losing a family member, isn't it? And he went, oh, it's much worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, it is, I, I, you know, I haven't had a lot of uh, uh, experience in this area, but you do sort of think that like, they had their own agency. You know what I mean? Humans have, to a lesser extent, to a lesser or greater extent, have that's their own agency. People, that's why people are sympathetic, more sympathetic to a homeless dog than a homeless person, because there's an right. implied understanding, wrongly, usually, that, that the human's got its, itself in that position. Right. The dog hasn't had a choice in it. But do you not think that, like, um, you don't really see homeless dogs anymore? You just don't see strays? No, no, but I mean a, a homeless person with a dog. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's why homeless people get the. Pay, I wouldn't pay a call a stray dog, a dog. I wouldn't call a stray dog a homeless, homeless dog. dog. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> I mean, a little a person, a person with a dog. Yeah. Well, uh, they, they they rent them out, don't they? They, they, they uh, pay a quid a day or something because you just make more money. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the dog trains just sit there. Yeah. yeah the, the, there's the guy just had to call it goes on dogs. I'm fairly that sounds like case. a right wing conspiracy theory. That well, it's would, not, that it's not a sound, bad one, though, is it? It sounds like they would sound GB news. <laughs> <laughs>